So how to calculate uh, the life expectancy? We did that in class and we used this table to explain the process. And basically to do it, uh, you need first to start off with age categories. This table specifically uh, starts with uh, zero to one year, then one to four, five to nine, 10 to 14, etc., etc. So it's an interval of one year first, then an interval of four years, and then you have five intervals now this is a five-year interval because uh, from five to six to seven to eight to nine and all the way almost to ten so actually this is a five all the way up to nine point nine 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 so th so all the intervals are about five years except for the first one which is one year the second one is fourth year and the last one uh, will be determined based upon uh, the givens the next thing you need is the age specific death rate so what proportion, what percentage of people would die in that age-specific category, okay? And these will be provided as well, or you can get them from uh, Bureau of Census or the Ministry of Health. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to start with a set of a number. So this table started with a cohort of 100,000 born alive, okay? Now, you could start with 100,000, you can start with a million, it doesn't matter. The, the, the starting number does not matter. So I'm going to show you how to do the calculation. First thing you're going to do is you're going to calculate out of this 100,000, how many are going to die in that first interval. Okay. Now, to know how many are going to die in that interval, you're going to use the age-specific death rate. And basically what you do is you multiply the age-specific death rate by the number at the beginning of the interval and that will give you this number and that number is how many died in that interval okay now if that much died in that interval then how many are going to enter the second interval so if you started off with 100,000 and 1,008 died then 98,992 are going to move into the second interval right they're getting older so they're moving down one interval to the other and every time you have an interval you're going to calculate how many are going to die in that interval and that is going to be done using the exact same thing we did a moment ago you take the age specific death rate of that interval you multiply it by those that entered the interval to get the total number of people dying in that interval and then you do those entering minus those dying to get those that will enter the second interval and you keep doing that till you finish all the intervals the last interval everybody's gonna die okay so so far we've done the first three columns the fourth column you're going to calculate how many years of age were lived by everybody in that interval and the way to explain that we said like if you have one person living one year then that's one year if you have five people every one of them living one year then that's five years collectively if you have a hundred thousand people so if this if the if the hundred thousand people all of them born um, um all of them actually stayed alive till the end of the interval that means every one of them lived one year flesh one year because the interval is one year and therefore you will get a hundred thousand years lived in that interval but since actually you have a set of people that died in that interval, so you have to account for that. And the way you account for that is you're going to allocate, for everybody that died, you're going to allocate half of the interval. And if for 1,008, you're going to give, give each one of those half of the year, less half of the year, half of the interval. Okay? And for everybody that lived for the entire interval, and actually the 98,992, hold, hold, they lived the, all of the interval, we're going to give them, every one of them, we're going to give them the entire interval. This is how you get the 99,093. So, for example, if I come to this interval, 85, so this is interval 60 to 64. Remember, it's a five years interval. Uh, you have 85,265 entering the interval and uh, 6,257 died. How did I figure out the 6,257? You just take the age specific death rate you multiply it by the total number entering the interval you get 6257 now to figure out how many years were lived in that interval for everybody 
that exited the interval this is the 79,008 so for the total 79,008 we're going to give every one of them five years because they lived the entire interval plus for those that died the 6,257 we're going to give them half of the interval getting 2.5 years you add these two numbers and in principle you should be able to get uh, 411,309 and you do that for all of them now the tricky one is the last one how many years are you going to give for the last interval knowing that actually all of them are going to die so i think they gave like maybe like around seven years or six and a half years for these people so it depends on the situation don't worry too much about the last interval it will be given all right so now what we have is the fourth column the fourth column has the total number years of life lived per interval then you move into the next one which is a cumulative but we the way we do accumulation here is you go bottom up okay so the last entry which is 200,064 you, you put it here you plug it here and then you add to it whatever was above it you get so 20164 plus 190,325 you get 391,389 then you add to that 264,195 you get 65 655,584 and you, um, and you and you keep doing that till you reach the first one and what the first one mean is what, what it means is that see these 100,000 babies born in 87 all in all these 100,000 babies are going to live together 7.5 million years okay and then you come to the uh, life expectancy what you're going to do is you're going to take the, the the cumulative age lived and you're going to divide it by the number entering the interval and that will give you this number right here so again let's let me take for example uh, interval 40 to 44 the uh, cumulative years lived is 3.6 million you take that number and you divide it by 95,350 you get 37.76 years okay the first entry in this column this is your life expectancy so a baby born in the united states in 1987 is expected to live 75 years winter okay so how would i interpret this 37.76 um the way you're going to interpret it is in in 87 1987 uh, someone in the United States aged between 40 to 44 is expected to live an additional 37.76 years okay and basically uh, so like for the last interval in 1987 a person in the United States age 85 years is expected to live 6.5 years more and that's it for the life expectancy I hope it was clear